Could your window survive the impact? A two by four traveling 35 miles an hour and stay intact? It can if it's laminated glass, and we'll see how laminated glass can protect your property and maybe save your life. Did you know that more and more people are using laminated glass in their homes and offices? That's because laminated glass can protect us from flying debris going through our windows from hurricanes and tornadoes. This glass, for example, can withstand a 400 foot pound object from going through the glass. Let me show you what I mean. We're gonna take a 100 pound ball and we're gonna drop it from a height of seven feet. Wow, that is amazing. Today we're in Amory, Wisconsin, and we're gonna show you how they make laminated glass. Laminated glass is made by putting glass and plastic together. The process begins in what's called a clean room. It's almost as sterile as a hospital operating room. But this high-tech operation ensures quality control, says marketing manager Eric Knuth. Eric, I didn't realize it took such a space-age environment to make laminated glass. You're right, Steve. We're inside of our clean room right now, which is where the initial assembly of the laminated glass happens. This is a class 10,000 clean room, which means it has a very efficient filtration system and humidity and climate controls in here to make sure that there is no dust or debris inside the glass sandwich when it's made. Tell me how you uh, actually make laminated glass. Well, it's very similar to making a sandwich. You start out with two pieces of glass, and the two pieces of glass are held together with an inner layer of material. Uh, one, for example, is the PVB, or the polyvinyl sheet that we use here, which is what they're doing today. Feels very strong. Yes, very strong. Uh, has good adhesion to the glass, so that you're assured that it's going to stay together uh, during an impact. So after the two pieces of glass uh, encase this, or this is our sandwich, then where does it go? It exits through a pressure roller and onto the uh, final stages of production, where it's pressed together. As the glass goes down the line, it goes through a preheating oven to first bond the glass and plastic together. The excess plastic is trimmed off. And after another series of ovens, the glass is ready for final heating and high pressure process before it's ready to be shipped. So Eric, what are we gonna see today? Well, Steve, we're gonna see the first part of the hurricane testing that we do here at Cardinal. Uh, this is machine that we're standing in front of is our air cannon. Uh, we will load the air cannon up with a nine pound, eight foot long, two by four. Uh, this air cannon will shoot the projectile at the center of the window, and a successful test would mean that uh, it doesn't go through the window. The window then gets a second impact. This one fired at the corner to make sure it stays in its frame. As you can see, the glass is cracked but because of the lamination, it's still intact, in frame, and little if any water can get through. So it's past the first part of the test. So Eric, the first half of the test was an impact test. What are we seeing here? Well, this is the second half of the test. It's called a cyclic wind pressure test. It's meant to simulate the wind pressures, the severe difference in wind pressures that your window would be punished with during a hurricane. Over the next six hours, this window will breathe or expand in and out 9,000 times. The laminated glass window endures a constant 100 pounds per square foot of pressure and does not fail. So if you're looking for a window that will better protect your family and property, you might breathe a little easier knowing your laminated glass will bend but probably not break. <laughs>